The marble divider divides one continuous row of marbles, like this one, into 38 separate tracks. So the question is, how do we send a mechanical signal to these marbles to go to the exact track where there is needed and not to go to the track that is already full? That's the problem that the marble divider has to solve. Okay, so the way this is working is that the one continuous flow of marbles enters up here and will skip by all the full channels. So every marble that comes on a channel that is full will just roll by. And for those already thinking that these channels will not have a lot of marbles, we will have a secondary line coming into the middle of the thing, feeding. So the last channel has a chance to get filled as well. Otherwise, the, all the empty channels before will steal all the marbles, right? And this gray thing here is the same thing down here. They are mechanically connected to the programming pins and when they will shift backwards from a hit of the programming pin, they will release one marble to go further down into the machine like this. And when it's going back to its original position, it will load a new marble inside the gray thing from the queue like this. So you have And see what happened here now. We're all of a sudden missing three marbles. So now the continuous flow of marbles will go into that line. This slope has a five degree slope. And for all of you eagle eyed viewers, you've noticed that it's of course extremely important that the last marble end up flush with this slope and that these chutes here has much smaller distance than here. And we're accommodating for that distance by alterating these gray parts and 
the depths of these gray parts are individual on each of the 38 channels. So the top marble is always positioned perfectly flush so the marbles can roll perfectly by. This marble gate has a quite fast action. Compared to the marble gates of the first machine, it's a whole different thing. So look at this. Only one marble per time, no fuss. I'm so excited about uh, these marble gates because they are actually a little bit genius. Building the marble divider was a quite long process. I started in Brenne, Sweden with some prototyping and then I went to Trollhättan where I had great help from Marius with both the CAD work and cutting the actual plywood parts on the CNC machine. Tobias Midebrand helped with printing the 3D printed marble gates and then I moved to France where I started the assembly. And the most challenging part was bending the polyacrylic and getting those angles correct. So I made a jig to bend the poly in the correct curve. And because when you heat a material up like this, it will expand. So I had to bend it first and then make the CNC operations after it was bent. And this added some extra challenges. I didn't get the poly perfect, but I got it close enough for now anyway. I want the marble divider to look like a bubblegum machine with some candy marbles flowing through it in nice rhythm, so I really wanted this transparency look from the polyacrylic. After I had all the polyacrylic CNC'd, I had a lot of manual work to get everything to fit together, and this was because I forgot to add in tolerances in the CAD design, so with more experience I will remember to add the tolerance in the CAD design and I can cut things on the CNC without having to manually resize them to fit afterwards. What you see here is the marble divider on the first marble machine. It wasn't all bad actually, but it laid flat on the top of the machine, so it looks cool in a video. But as I'm designing the Marble Machine X to look great on stage, I wanted a more upright visual look for the Marble Machine X. And this new system also needs far less marbles, so it's more economic in a way. For this week's soundtrack, I used uh, the music box, a hammer dulcimer, or it's actually called a hackbrett, that's the correct name for this instrument. I used a harp and my 90 degree kick drum drum kit and some bass. And this song is the same song I punched out in my how to program music box tutorial video from last spring. In order to have time to build the marble machine, I will have to make these tracks really fast, so sometimes it will be corny and minimalistic. So by adding this part, we're now one step closer to finishing the machine. But building Marble Machine X is not our end goal. Once the machine is finished, we want to record a new album and head out on a world tour with my band Vintergatan, featuring Marble Machine X on stage. And this is the real goal we're working towards, to travel the world and play live music for you all with the Marble Machine X on stage is a big, big dream for me. We will cover the whole process of trying to make this dream come true here on Vintagot on Wednesdays. To follow the progress, you can subscribe here. If you want to be notified every time we release a new video, you can click the notification bell below. You can download this week's soundtrack here and you can see previous episodes here. Every week we will add another piece to this puzzle. Thanks so much for watching and see you on the next Vintergatan Wednesday.